What's up, guys? Uh, first of all, happy Easter. Um, I know it's been quite a while since I uh, uploaded my last video, and I apologize for that. Um, I actually had a couple videos ready to go, and just decided I didn't want to upload them because I didn't. I don't know. <clears throat> so what they were kind of—I mean, it was mostly about music, and the more I like thought about the video, the more I was like, well, I don't really want to post it. So. Not because there's anything bad in the video, just because I didn't feel like posting it. Um, it was kind of a pointless video. Um, I can still post it if you want. I have it rendered and everything. Uh, I just figured I'd skip over it because I don't even remember what was in the last video, so I don't want to like skip over and just do things that I've done before. So anyway, <clears throat> happy Easter. Um, I've been pretty busy lately. Uh, I was fixing my truck and. Shit. I'm going to have to look this up. I know UT South Paul asked a question again uh, regarding my truck. S something about the lights. I think you asked if I figured out what was wrong with the lights. Um, the answer to that question is yes and no. Um, I kind of fixed them. They both work. Like the tail lights work and the brake lights work, and they work when the headlights are on too now what was wrong was the connectors are like bad I guess they're not like you know completely bad but they don't connect they don't make a good connection so I just had to kind of jerry-rig it in there and get it to work um, dip video forgot to put in a dip can't believe that so let's put in a dip real quick down in my last little bit Yeah. All right. So on my screen, my cam is acting up again. So if it is, I'm sorry. Uh, I have a lot of problems with this computer, so bear with me. Um, but yeah, the only problem now with my truck is the reverse lights don't work. And I don't know why they don't work, but uh, I'm going to figure it out eventually. I'm not too worried about it because uh, I'm another reason I've been so busy is I'm trying to get ready to you know, try out for this new job. And once I get this new job, I'm going to get a new truck pretty quick. So I'm not really worrying about it because by this time, by next year, I'm either going to sell that truck or it's going to be a, a mud and truck that I just take out and tear the shit out of. So um, I'm not really too worried about getting every, every little thing fixed right now. Um, uh, another reason I haven't really uploaded a video is... Uh, and you guys will see a picture of this on Twitter. I'll post one. Uh, remember, you guys remember a while back I fixed that lawnmower up. Well, this time we got a Cushman. If you don't know what a Cushman is, it's like a small, almost like a tiny pickup truck. And it's for mostly like you know people who have property. It's a three wheel vehicle. Um, it was just like the lawnmower. It was in the flood last year. And uh, it's been in the flood like four times, but it ran until last year. So we're going to see what we can do with it. It doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. Um, just covered in mud, really. And I cleaned that off today. So I'll post a picture of that on Twitter tomorrow, hopefully, because I got some stuff to do anyway. So I might get a head start on it and drain the oil and everything. Um, so... For those of you who don't know, my birthday is this week. I'm turning 22 um, on, on, on Thursday. So my buddy texted me and, went, and told me, you know, he had something to sell me. And it was really cheap, extremely cheap, because he's just looking to get rid of it. He doesn't want it anymore. So, I, you know, my parents have been looking for something to get me. So I was like, hey, my buddy wants to sell this. You guys want to buy it, and it'll just be, you know, my birthday present. So, I'll show you what that is. And 
It is a uh, new pistol. It is a high point 40 caliber uh, model JCP Smith & Wesson. Now, I know I said before I'm not a huge fan of, you know, pistols. But, uh, because I, I know I said before I, I'd rather carry a revolver. And that, that's still true. But this was, he, he sold this for 50 bucks. And I and I know it's a good gun. I've shot it before. I used to shoot it when we went shooting all the time. So, but, uh, and for you people who are, you know, gun safety nuts, I'll show you. It's, oh, I got it on safe. Look at that. Chamber's cleared. There's no magazine in it. And now it's on safe. So, um, so I've shot this before. This thing is heavy as shit. I'll tell you that much. Um, I actually broke it down today to clean it. Just you know, every time I get a new gun, I like to clean it to make sure I know it's clean. Um, unless it's from the store, then like it's from if it's from like a it's, if if it's a brand new gun, then it, you don't have to worry about it. But when you if you buy a gun from from somebody who's like private, like you know it's a private sale, uh, you always want to clean it and field strip it before you take it out because that way. Um, you know if it's missing something or if something's broken and you know it's clean after that. Um, if you purchase a firearm and you don't know how to break it down, a good way to do that is go online and search that firearm and search owner's manual. That's what I did. I searched the owner's manual, checked how to look, break it down. Um, for those of you who don't know how to break down a high point, or at least a Smith & Wesson high point, uh, safety trying to do this where you can see it. You pull this back and there's a little notch that you put the safety in right there. And then there's a pin right back here. And you take a roll pin punch or it's over there. It's a, there's a high point tool. Look it up if you don't know what it looks like because it's way over there. I just took a brass hammer and hammered that out. And then you let it slide back forward, bring it back, and then it should pop up. Then you take it apart. There's a spring here, and this will lift off, and that spring will be there. Um, if, for those of you who don't know, I'm pretty big into guns. Um, I'm working eventually on getting my FFL, and me and my buddy are going to be gunsmiths on like kind of on the side, like a side business, and. Uh, uh, this kind of stuff just fascinates me, learning how to take apart guns. But for those of you who, you know, aren't really that into guns or looking into getting a gun and don't know how to clean it or something, really, to clean a gun, really all you need to do is make sure all the dirt's off, and you don't want to get all the carbon out. Uh, a little bit of carbon is good because it acts as a barrier between metal, metal on metal. But when you oil a gun, just oil everything that is metal that moves against another metal piece. So like. Really, there's not a whole lot of metal that moves together on this, because this is mostly polymer on the outside. But I make sure to oil my springs, you know, oil where it looks like rubber. When metal rubs together, you'll see it. It'll scratch. It'll, you know, wear down a little bit. Oil that part just because it's lubrication in between there. Uh, your gun is going to last a lot longer if you use that. And you don't need to oil your gun a whole lot. Um... I mean, you don't need to clean your gun a whole lot. Um, if you just go out to the range and shoot 100, 100, 200 rounds through it, I wouldn't really clean it that that good. Just maybe take it apart and just run some oil through it or something. But if you uh, are going to put it up for a while, I would clean it and oil it real good because otherwise you'll you'll end up rusting it. Uh, I got two rifle. I got a rifle and a shotgun. I know. I think I told you guys about, and I for the life of me cannot keep them from rusting. I put oil on them like crazy and they still rust. So sometimes there's just nothing you can do about it. Um, but yeah, this is my new baby. It came with uh, two magazines and I think 50 rounds of ammo. Uh, it is a 40 caliber, as I said. It, it, it's got a little kick to it, but it's not too bad. Um, but uh, the only thing that's like modified on it is it it does have a ghost sight on it. It's uh, 
different from the stock where it's like a, it's a closed circle with two points on it. I don't see the point in it. He put it on and he said, if you want the original site, you can have it. I was like, I don't feel like fucking with it. It's a site. It'll work. Um, but that's about all I got today. Just a quick update. I know I haven't up uploaded in a while, so... Um, if you guys have any more questions, uh, comment. So, you, know, you you guys have seen that I'm pretty good at answering people's questions as quick as I can. Uh, I'll answer them on the comments, and then I'll also answer them in the next video. And I'll give you guys a shout-out. So, um, I know UT Southpaw 2013 gave me, asked me about my truck. So, shout-out to you, guy. Um, I will see you later. Like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with your friends. Uh, happy Easter, guys. And take it easy. Keep dipping and spitting.